Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Mega Man X Part 6. In the last episode, we took out Flame Mammoth, and we backtracked to Chill Penguin's level to get his heart tank. We also got Flame Mammoth's heart tank, and also got a Dr. Light capsule for the Buster, and we got another sub tank. In this episode, we're going to take out what I consider to be the... the hardest regular boss, especially without his weapon, without his weakness... But with his weakness, he's a little more manageable. So, here we go. Armored Armadillo. I kind of wish his name were Armored Madillo. Just... Not all names have to be perfect. Anyway... Okay. Sorry, I lost my button layout again. I thought the dash button was jump. This is the place to farm for health, so... Assuming I don't get killed... This guy... Well... He has a pretty high drop rate. So... I'm probably going to do this off screen, but the, the general idea is use the fact that uh, enemies respawn infinitely, especially that guy. See, he gave us an extra life. Right there especially, he's a really common item dropper. Well, another extra life. My point exactly. So yeah, if you want to farm for... for uh, Help for your sub tanks, just go around there. Or I guess if you want to farm for extra lives. So, basically, the, the reason Armored Armadillo is so hard is because he has a shell that blocks hits, and without his weakness, he'll always have that shell, which makes it really hard. Now, when you go down here, careful, do not get hit by those spikes, you'll die. Swing behind him, kill him if you want, I'm just not going to waste my time with that. But instead of going to the right, go to the left, and there's the next sub-tank. That one is also easy to miss, like all of them. And that zone means we filled up one of our sub-tanks. I think we have three right now. Oh, we got two right now. Two completely filled, we have three sub-tanks. Here's another place where your head capsule's useful, but I let that little bulldozer guy just keep attacking, and I didn't bother collecting that. Careful for their spikes. Th those, There are a lot of spikes in this level, and spikes, like in any Mega Man game, are instant death. The only Mega Man game I can think of where they're not instant death is Mega Man X8, if you have a certain upgrade... Or not an upgrade, but power up, I guess. It's something you have to buy. You can only use it once per. You can use it once per time you get hit by spikes. Oh, if you get hit by spikes and you're invin, like during your invincibility frames, you won't die, which is pretty useful on one of the upcoming bosses. But that's that's later. I'm not gonna spoil it right now. That's the thing I like about these bats. If they get in your way, like just a large group of them, I mean, you can just attack, and they'll give you lots of health. Maybe even a one-up. But, yeah, just basically be careful right there. You gotta jump or you'll land in the spikes. So whenever you stop riding, be sure to jump on both of them. I didn't mention it on the first ride? I don't know what to call it. I just call it the ride. Alright. Hug to the left here. Okay. And beat the crap out of this guy quickly. 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 I cannot stress that enough. He is a lot easier in the iOS version, but in this version, you can just, you just barely cut it. Alright. And we get our next... Thank you. We get our next heart tank. That one's probably the easiest to get. 
But, yeah, just keep shooting at him. Do not stop. Because I've actually cut it way closer than that a lot of times before. That's actually about as much free space as I've ever had. Alright. Now we're coming up on the end of the level here. Pretty short level. And... Oh my god! I can't believe I just did that. Well, the good news is I don't have to... I don't have to fight the... I'm still gonna kill him, but I don't have to worry about getting the heart tank anymore. So I'm still gonna kill him just because I hate that sound that he makes that roll, 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 roll. Ah. Anyway, where I was, you saw a little, a little health health container, I don't know what you would exactly call it, I'm just going to call it health ca container for simplicity's sake, but a little later in the game, you see this, there's going to be a little secret, but I can't ex access it now, and after all that, we are at Armad Armadillo, I think this is the first one I've come at with full health, which is good, because I'm going to need full health. All right. So, Armored Armadillo. As soon as he starts to jump, he will always do that. And while he's defenseless, hit him with electric shock. That's his weakness. Ah, crap. If I need a sub tank, I'm going to take it. Just saying. Because. That's a good pattern to get him in right there. Okay. That's actually one of the easier fights I've ever had with Armadillo. He's not that bad with his weakness, but without his weakness, he is crazy hard. And with that, we get probably the best weapon in the game. Rolling Shield. And, of course, that's the password for this point. Um, it may just be me, but I think that was a pretty short video, but so far I've only done one level per episode, and I'm not going to change that now. Because the next level is actually a little bit longer. So, maybe it was short, maybe I'm just full of myself, but this has been Ben Holt. And... Be sure to like this video, comment, favorite, subscribe, share it with all your friends, get my name out there, and in the next episode we will be taking out Launch Octopus. See you then.